Welcome back to Lewis Family Farms and uh, we're just going to give you a, a little information or overview of our irrigation system. So currently we are only using one tank and this is a 650 uh, gallon tank. Hopefully we'll be able to um, increase uh, our capacity, our storage capacity in short order because it's very hot and the water is very very short. As it is now, we are actually filling with um, a, a hose. That's the uh, national, the public water system. Uh, so, from the tank, we take it via an inch and a half um, outlet into our. So this is the main. This is the main, and um, that flows all the way. So we have two different sides of the farm. So this section goes over um, to where we had the sweet potatoes and our new scotch bonnet and this goes to an, a different section of the farm. So both sides of the farm are actually are actually uh, watered from this one tank and this one system. This tank takes about um, probably about 15 to, to 20 minutes to, to empty to empty when we are using the uh, one inch and probably about yeah about 10-15 minutes to empty when we are using the inch and a half all right so you hear me mention one inch and you hear me mention an inch and a half also so the inch and a half is really the main coming from the tank and going straight into the fields irrigation mains uh, from the mains we have the we have the laterals or the sub mains after which we have the lateral another in another video we'll give you an update on how we do those but what i really want to show you share with you now is our venturi system so uh, i'm not going to be giving you the fine details of it because there are many videos on uh, youtube that gives you um you know that really shows you how to install how to fit up or to set up your venturi or fertilizing system so this is what we use to fertilize oh my it's actually <laughs> this is what we use to fertilize so we are using uh, remember now we are using inch and a half main but the venturi system which is the fertilizing the system that we use the suction system is actually one inch so we had to do a step down here into a one inch system uh, one inch fitting so that we could utilize uh, the suction or the venturi system so once we had that in place it was all system go so we are able to fertilize from right here the entire farm is um, set up so that we can fertilize from here just as we can uh, irrigate or water the plants from here so we're actually fertilizing some scotch bonnets and I just decided that I would show you all right so mix up the fertilizer already and um, it's time now to fertilize the peppers again today we are using the peppers have started to flower now producing so today we are using first sun flowering premium fertilizer this is one pound it's about 600 peppers so we're using um two pounds today you might want to use more but um this mixture now has in 21 percent nitrogen and um so the and so the major um nutrients in this is nitrogen and but should be potassium so nitrogen is 21 percent potassium is 23 percent and the other significant nutrient in it is phosphate which is six percent so we're using two pounds of that and we mix it to the five gallon bucket and it's connected to the to the drip or to the irrigation system all right so we're gonna turn that on now and it should take about 10 10 minutes all right so first we need to turn on the main so we turned on the main then so but now it is going 
straight to, through the irrigation system, straight through the drip. All right, for us to initiate the venturi system, we need to just crack this, barely crack it, barely crack it. All right, and then we open. So we're gonna turn the water this way. So we open that valve. So it starts going through the venturi system. So we're gonna open this valve now to let it back through this one. And you see, as you can see, you notice as soon as we turn that so the color coming through the hose so let me turn off like this now all right all right so it's going through the hose let me take that out That's it. all right put it back in and you see it start going back through the hose again all right so that's the method that we use to fertilize our farm very efficient uh, so and I said the farm is fertilized in about 10 minutes 10 minutes stops all right so if you look at the hose when I lift it out all right there let me just crack this a little bit more all right, all right so there you go all right so it's gone and you can hear it put it back down in the fertilizer now you see it start pulling again the hose gets purple again all right so we set that for about 10 minutes and then the bucket would be empty peppers don't really need a lot of water now it's just to fertilize them so as soon as it, the bucket is empty then we will give it another five minutes and we'll turn it off all right. and you can see that it's going down all right so the water comes down into our irrigation system and comes all the way to the the foot of the plants all right so i just turned it on the line is actually filling up back again it's starting to drip all right. so there all right so the water is probably about mm, probably about 200 meters from where we are and this is the effect it's very very absolutely convenient it, I could not yes I, I was gonna say I can't imagine the farm without irrigation but yes I can imagine the farm without irrigation because the farm didn't always have irrigation it was only a recent recently added asset and it is working fabulously all right so that is it at work so right there what you're seeing dripping here now is actually water fertilized water all right so the plants are being fertilized right now that i'm talking to you in the past we would have had to be um sprinkling the granular fertilizer all around the plants so that is a thing of the past that is a thing of the past all right. so I'm sure they are smiling now we're trying to keep the farm as weed free as possible so we remove these yeah mm -hmm. there you go